What is that? What are you doing? Throwing Brussels sprouts at me? What's wrong with these? Throw another one, I dare you. <laughs> They're old. I don't like Brussels sprouts. Give me one. Jeez, you're crazy. Okay, 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 that's enough, that's enough. I don't need any more Brussels sprouts. So my mom right now is throwing Brussels sprouts. This is the, oh yeah, I'm filming. This is the reason why we have deer in our neighborhood because my mom throws food all over our house. I just got bombarded with probably my least favorite food on earth. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It is gorgeous here in Illinois. It's like 60 degrees, almost November. My mind is absolutely blown. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Hope you guys caught a ton of fish, because I definitely didn't. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I'm turning the camera on is because a special certain someone has landed in Illinois soil. That special certain someone being Rob Turkla, AKA Lunkers TV, AKA the dude with the Hello Kitty boat wrap. I'm pretty sure he's on the ground right now waiting for me currently, but I had to do this intro. So before I do that, I wanna say thank you guys so much. And this is a sincere thank you. It's not just a routine thank you. This is a sincere thank you. Thank you guys so much for the all the views. Like I recently realized that my views have been really awesome and there's been a lot of engagement on my videos. People commenting, people saying some hilarious stuff. I read like, and I'm not even making this number up. I probably read like 90% of the comments that I get, like physically read them as a thank you for all of the support and the fact that I'm nearing and closing in on that 350,000 subscriber mark, I'm gonna give some stuff away today. I don't, I don't normally do this, I should do it more often, but today I'm gonna give some stuff away. First item that I'll be giving away today is a um, uh, sealed, never before creased, size 10 croc dunks. As you may be able to tell, they're still in the package. I actually did the liberty to even sign these croc dunks. They're, they're pretty much a classic. So I'm gonna give uh, a pair of these bad boys away to one of you lucky winners out there. Along with that, I'm also gonna be giving away a $100 gift card to um, a tackle store of your choice. Well, actually I'll give you the choices that you have. It could either be Tackle Warehouse, Cabela's, please don't do Cabela's, or Bass Pro Shop. I guess we'll do Gander Mountain too. Whichever website has like an online e-gift card, I'm basically gonna give one away. So you can choose between those four. I'm gonna give $100 away from either of those. I'm gonna send you like an e-gift card. I'm pretty sure after I signed these, they went down in value even more, if that's even possible for Crocs. All you have to do to enter this contest is comment in the comment section below what your favorite pair of fishing shoes are, and also let me know what was the biggest bass that you caught this weekend or as of recently, and I will randomly choose a winner okay I think maybe Rob is texting me and my phone is uh, is going off in my pocket right now and oh yeah he's landed so we're gonna get going let's go pick up Rob I'm at my least favorite uh, place on earth right now that being O'Hare Airport I've almost got hit twice I wish I had both times on the camera I should be seeing Rob here in a bit Oh, oh, this lady's gonna kick me out. One second. Just give me one second. One second. She was actually really nice. <laughs> Usually they're really mean here. She says you need to go. Ah, don't hit me. Here, you can put the big bag over here, probably. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, oh. All right, let's get out of here before we die. Oh my god. These people have no chill whatsoever. No, this is the worst airport on earth. Free Whopper Plopper. Dude, your hand looks... Yeah, dude. Bro, you need a band-aid. Come on, rip it out. Come on, muscles. Bend out your hook. I don't care. It's in your bag. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> dude, you keep that? digging, you'll find some crazier stuff than that. What is going you on? You just found a marker buoy and a duck in my car. <laughs> yeah, like, what the heck? Here, here. Take that, put it on the hook, and just rip it out. This sucks. I don't know, I'm having fun watching this. There we go, that worked. St. Ives? I might need that for my hand. Dude, look how, look it's how exfoliating. This is, this is my best part. Oh, Rob's playing the role of Peric today. <laughs> We're at uh, Best Buy. We always start off a, a, a nice traveling trip with going to Best Buy. Rob's got a little lens issue, so we're going there to get his lens replaced. Is that easy? Well, I'm gonna get now on the, just 24 hours, all in on Thursday, and they gave me money back. Dang. And I got a year long. Uh... So Rob loves Best Buy, Eric hates Best Buy. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think about Best Buy. Uh, Rob got a new lens. That was easy and very painless. When I get back to my house, I'll explain what's going on here and why Rob's in Illinois, because I don't think I even hinted to the fact that he was coming and visiting. Yay, we're at Cabela's. I don't, what are we, I don't even know what we're doing. Here. Yay! Do, do we? Why don't we? I gotta get lures because as you may be able to tell, my trunk is pretty much 
vacant. Rob and I are at Cabela's right now. Again, my favorite place on earth. And uh, we're gonna go pick up some necessities because we're going on a big trip tonight or maybe tomorrow, or maybe never. Or no, we're going on a trip. I just don't know what time we're leaving. You shot these a bunch? Yeah, as a kid, I used to shoot recurve all the time. And shoot a bow. I haven't shot a bow in quite some time. I used to shoot a lot, but I'm talking about maybe, maybe getting a new bow. It's been about four years since I got a new bow. I had an old bear and then like an old recurve. I can't remember the brand of the recurve, but it was like a karate recurve. So I'm testing out a bow right now. 20 years old? I think that's old I am. Yeah, 20. I'll get out of the way of your camera if you want. Okay. Is that 50 or 55? 50. 50. Do you shoot this with this right? No, you actually shoot this with this No, not that one. You shot the It's not a cop on it, you don't hold it back. No, 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 no. you were shooting it. It was a no, he he's holding oh. it back. It's awesome. I want to get back into shooting bows. It's it's going to be a good pastime for when it gets cold. As much as I love ice fishing, it's not like something I want to do all the time. So, oh yeah, some guy also said I was holding the holding holding back too long on my draw, but I don't think so. I was just getting back in the swing of things, just trying to get my scopes down, my bullseye. Thing. As, as you may be able to tell though, it's not very good. I shot like a like a blind person from the ten yard line. I got one good shot there. Other than that, everything's all over the place. That was fun. Yeah. Um, Rob and I are back at my house right now. Rob and I were in the impression that we had to make this really big road trip tonight, but then we realized we probably don't have to do that. I told you guys that we we're going on this trip. There's a reason why Rob's down here. It's not just like him coming down and visiting, even though that's actually what it really is. He's just coming down and visiting. We are actually going to take a trek about four to maybe it's like a four or five hour drive northeast to like Huron to fish with Ben Nowak. Ben Nowak actually has his own YouTube channel. Uh, and he invited us to do some small fishing. He's pretty much a, a stick. Oh, wait. So we're excited. Oh, 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 oh God, hello. Can I help you? What are you doing right now? What time, when, when, when did you start fishing? I just, we and John just got done watching your video that you uploaded today. Well, there was one part that was a little bit cringy, like when you were trying to say goodbye to her and it was like, you guys were like touching hands, but you're like, do I want to kiss her? Eric, I saw your nipples in the video. <laughs> wait, so. Yeah, did you like that part? <laughs> Yo, I flagged that video. That was inappropriate. So, Rob and I just watched Perrick's last video and we're just giving him a little bit of crap. It's so funny. We're just talking about Perrick and he calls us. As I was saying before, Perrick uh, gave us a little ring there. I feel like I'm doing what Perrick does in his videos. He goes like this. As I was saying before, Perrick uh, gave us a little ring there. Rob and I are going up north to fish for Huron Smallmouth. We've never been up to here on before, so I don't really know what these fish are gonna be doing. They're probably gonna be biting jerk baits. I'm excited. Who doesn't love smallmouth? That's it. I gotta edit this video, gotta get the car all cleaned up, and then um, we're gonna get something to eat. Being that Rob and I are gonna do some smallmouth fishing up north for fall small jaws, I thought it would be appropriate to take a free, a, a, a free, God, what's, I thought it'd be appropriate to take a few brief moments to talk about my favorite fall smallmouth lures. They're not jigs, they're not drop shots, they're not shaky heads, they're baits that are constantly in motion. Some are hard baits, some aren't. So, let's get right into it. First bait, undoubtedly one of my favorite smallmouth lures, suspending jerk bait. There's a bunch of different brands you can use. There's really expensive ones, there's ones that go up to like $30, there's some that are like $3. I use both. One that's a little bit more reasonably priced is an Ima Flit. Uh, this is a smaller, more compact, uh, a little bit faster, a little more skittish jerk bait. I find that the action is quite different compared to this one. Both good, this one's a little bit less expensive, and uh, they come in some pretty decent colors as well. This time you like to stick to like more natural, translucent colors. Pro blue, uh, pro blue bone, chartreuse something, I don't know. There's a bunch of different colors you can choose. Jerk baits in general just kill it. For some reason that rip, rip, pause motion, oh, there's Rob's hand. Rip, rip, pause motion really tends to drive them nuts this time of year when that water starts cooling down. The other bait, where's the other bait at? Another bait that's a little bit different than a jerk bait, but still is like a moving bait is the swim bait. A really simple, simple tactic. And this 
in my opinion, is like a great beginner tactic for any angler out there because it requires like little to no expertise when throwing it out there. At least in my opinion, it's very straightforward. This is just something very simple that anyone can pretty much do. And uh, all we're gonna do is just screw that on there. I'm just gonna do it real sloppily because we're not actually gonna use this today. But uh, a swim bait really kills it this time of year. You find a nice rocky flat, nice uh, stretch of some rock, some, some sand, some gravel, maybe some cobblestone, whatever you're in the mood for. You throw swim bait out there and you just reel it in. Sometimes you hop it, sometimes you know you can drag it, but in my opinion, just a straight up slow retrieve drives them nuts this time of year. But that's a little swim bait guy. Jerk baits, swim baits. The last lure that I probably choose choose for a fall small off is just a lipless crankbait. Again, one of those lures that's very straightforward to use. You pretty much can just cast out the reel in it. And I know that's very vague, and there's a lot of people that would disagree with me, but in all honesty, like a lipless crankbait is pretty simple. If you're around grass, you rip it out of grass. If you're in your open water, you just reel it in for the most part. You can yo-yo it and do a bunch of crazy stuff, but that's for a different story in a different video. Lipless crankbaits absolutely dominate this time of year for fall smallows. These fish will get super aggressive even in cold water. A lot of people think because that water temp is lowering, these fish are gonna get lethargic and start moving really slowly. That's far from the case. Fish in 48, 50 degree water temperature chase down a bait all the way to the boat and just absolutely crush it. So don't underestimate the cold weather and the cold weather fish this time of year. They will still get very active as long as there's still water on the lake and it's not frozen. These fish still can be very hungry and uh, super active. So those crankbaits a great bait to throw for that as well. So. Those are my three favorite lures uh, for fall smallmouth. Again, I've got a bunch of other ones, but these are just the three that, in my opinion, that I think you guys should be using at this point. I feel like I just rambled for about 30 minutes. I just thought I'd take a quick, brief moment to talk about some cool lures I think you guys should be throwing. So, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, just kickback vlog. And as always, keep fishing. Never stop. You wanna punch it for me?